Run through, run through. Has he go, has he go. Finish strong. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's up, y'all? Coach Rock here, the official trainer for I Love Basketball TV. As you can see me and Coach Josh going through some like one-on-one -on -one moves, how to improve your first step. And that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. How to improve your first step so you can blow by any defender. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, so I have three drills that I'm gonna show you that are gonna really help you improve your first step. They go in order. So first, do the one without the ball that I'm gonna do first. Then second, we're gonna add a ball. Then third and final, we're gonna add a band. So let's hop right into it. This first drill, this is pretty much the only drill. You could add this drill to your dynamic warm-up. Now, obviously, it's not the only drill you can use to work on first step speed, but this is the drill that I use with the majority of my athletes, and it, um, it generates the best results. So what we do here, I just set up two cones. You don't even need cones, really. Just get where you're gonna be at in a game, and I just want you to kind of step as far as you can. Step out as far as possible. A problem with a lot of young players, the reason they don't have a quick first step it's not because they're really slow or it's not because they're not athletic. The problem is their first step is like this instead of like this. Now when you get longer and lower, you, your shoulder should be at your opponent's um, waist. So Coach Josh, say you're guarding me. Say Coach Josh is guarding me. If I beat him, my shoulder, I should be beating him down here. And that's, that automatically, this step right here, and this low shoulder is going to give me a faster first step, whether that's off the triple threat or off the dribble. Now you'll notice the key point is pushing off this back foot. You have to be pushing off this foot hard. You have to be pushing through the ground and generating a lot of speed, a lot of force, a lot of power. So if you're off the dribble, it's boom, pushing off that way. If you're out of the triple threat, it's just boom, pushing off that way. Now, how do we build this? We go exactly where I started, the first drill, you're just gonna do run-throughs. And I want you to practice this on the wings, practice at the top, practice wherever you're gonna be at in games. If you're making your moves from the corner, practice the moves from the corner. So here, Coach Josh and I are gonna demonstrate. We're gonna start here. Just get as far as you can, it's gonna be uncomfortable. And explode through and sprint through. So now Coach Josh is gonna go. He's gonna extend. Exploding through that back foot. Now the next time, again, we want to practice both um, push-offs because we're going to be pushing off both feet in the game. So again, same exact thing. You can start off regular here. Extend, extend, push off. All right, now we're going to add a ball to the same drill. So. Now the one thing you want to remember here is that because you have the ball, if you're out of the triple threat, you can't lift this foot up until you put this ball on the ground. So another thing is we want to practice throwing the ball out so we're not here. And you see I dribbled the ball first before I lifted that foot. That's a key. But it's here and pushing it forward and then finishing with layups. Practice on both sides. I'm going to just do this side just to save time. But Again, no rush here. I want you to really get uncomfortable. Get as low as you can. It's gonna be hard. You're gonna push off, and then you're gonna finish with a layup. And another thing this is gonna practice, this is gonna help you master, is getting to the rim with as few dribbles as possible. So you wanna be, in real games, you wanna be able to get from the rim and one dribble here as far out as possible because that extra dribble is a split second to allow the help defense to come. But again, we'll start here and eventually you can move back and this will help you finish. This will help you even more with your first step speed because you're gonna have to get even farther. So again, here, and you could even switch it up if you go on the other side of the court or from here. And this time we're gonna finish on the, in the middle of the rim. So we're here, pushing off and finishing. 
So now Coach Josh going. All right, now we're gonna kind of evolve that drill that we just did, that phase of the drill that we just did. Now it's gonna be off the dribble, but still no run up yet. That'll be next. We'll do the run up next, but it will be here, just stationary. You can take like five dribbles. I like to tell my players, all right, take five dribbles. After the fifth dribble, you're exploding into this lunge position, pushing hard off this back foot and getting to the rim in one dribble. So we're here, one, two, three, four, five, low, exploding, getting to the rim in one dribble. Three, four, five, explode. Easy. So now, once you get that down, then you can come up from a little run up. So you can come, boom. So get that little hesitation. But again, everything else looks exactly the same here. Low, lunge, exploding. So this one will be off the move. So you can come here, boom, get to the rim, one dribble. Explode. Coach Josh's explosiveness is pretty ridiculous. But that's everything with the ball. So you have the triple threat, you have off the dribble. Now let's add a band. All right, now the next part of this drill, we've equipped Coach Josh with a band around his ankles. These bands you can get on like Amazon for like $10. You could get like a pack of six of them. It'll be light, medium, heavy, so you could challenge yourself even more. Coach Josh, he's gonna put the band around his ankles. No ball here, you can't attack really, but that's fine. What we're practicing here is that lunge split and that pushing off the back foot. So Coach Josh is gonna demonstrate right here, just right there, that beginning motion that leads into that quick first step. So this resistance right here is gonna make your, it's gonna make your split much more powerful and it's gonna make your back foot push off much more powerful. It's gonna also practice getting you in the proper positions. So the band is gonna help you getting into that proper position needed to be as explosive as possible when you're going for this um, quick first step. All right, now the last part of this is kind of a bonus I'm gonna to add to this video. A way to make your first step more effective is by having effective counters. Why? Because your defender is gonna be off balance. He's gonna be trying to read what you're gonna do. He's gonna be trying to read your moves and then your counters are gonna become more effective. When those counters become more effective, your first step is gonna become more effective because your opponent's not gonna be ready for you to go all the way with it. So a few counters you can do here, whether it's off of the triple threat or, the heads or off the dribble, Either way, you can do the same exact counters. You can do different variations because you're here of pullbacks. You can do, you can explode and stop and then pull back. So you can blow by, stop, pull back. You can just do the pullback straight off the move. But moves like that are going to get your defender off balance. So the next time, he's going to be reading the pullback and then I'm going for the hesitation blow by. That's going to make your first step essentially quicker because he's not going to be able to stay in front of it, right? So you'll have that. A lot of different counters you can do. We've done millions of moves on this channel that you can add to this. Um, we'll show you kind of a live run through of some counters you can do. A quick, a quick little like 10 seconds of just counters you can do that you can add to this move. So watch that. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Try these moves out. They're gonna really help you start scoring more points, blown by defenders and becoming a bigger threat on the basketball court. And if you really wanna take your scoring to the next level, I have a free game specific scoring accelerator um, for you. All you have to do is click the first link in the description. I love basketballtraining.com slash GSS. That's gonna take you to a page where I tell you a little about the um, GSS accelerator. All you have to do is go, read through that, put in your email, and I'll instantly send you over that free accelerator. It's really gonna help your scoring. It's gonna take your game to the next level. If you enjoyed the video, again, please hit that thumbs up for me. Let me know you liked it. Comment below, let me know what else you wanna see. Moves, player breakdowns, vertical jump, 
anything, you know we got you here. I love basketball TV. Make sure you do not forget to subscribe so you never miss another video. Be sure to tune in next week. We'll be dropping another one. I'll see you then.